So now that you've downloaded the Alpha Trader software, let's see some basic functionalities. I have it open right here. First, what I'm gonna do is, is add a market watch. So simply to do that, I can go to file, I can go to predefined workspace, NSE, and select Nifty 50. Alpha Trader has an easy way to add all 50 stocks of Nifty by using the predefined workspace. I can also add some more stocks of my own. Let me show you how to do that. I've gone to default market watch, selected national stock exchange, and selected a stock called LIC Housing Finance and hit enter. I have that stock in my market watch now. So let's see how you can actually buy or sell a stock from the market watch. All you need to do is right click, click on buy and the window will appear. Let's place a buy order by adding a currency pair. So let me put USD INR, hit enter. These are the February futures. I'll right click and click on buy. This is the buy window. I'll select a normal limit order for the price of 64.23, one quantity and click on yes. Let me also place a market order for quantity one and hit submit. Let me go to the order book and you can see that the order was completed. Now to get more information about a particular script, all you need to do is go to the snap quote window. Let me show you how you can do that. For USD INR, we'll simply click here and you'll get the snap quote. Here you can see the bids and the offers happening live. You can also sort the trading symbols according to ascending or descending order. Let me also show you a sell order. So I have right click, click on sell for the USD INR, selected market and hit submit. And you can see in the order book that this order was completed as well. Another thing you wanna see is the position book. So once you're actually in a trade, how much money are you making? So that is called the admin positions. What you need to do is click on positions, then you click on admin positions, and you can see that in the USD INR right now, the M2M, that's the current profit loss is zero. To refresh, all you need to do is click on get positions button. To know how much money you have in your account, simply click on positions, cash positions, and you'll get the commodity and equity segments right here. So the next thing you need to know is stock holdings. So if you're a long-term investor or you've taken any stock in delivery, you want to know what your current holdings are, simply go to positions, click on stock holdings, and then click on get holdings to update. And you can see that I have SBI Reliance, LIC Housing, JP Associates, and HDFC Bank in my account right now. And finally, for all of you who trade intraday using cover orders and bracket orders, simply go back to the market watch, right click, and you can see that the bracket order and the cover order is available right here. So there you have it. Now you know how to place an order and actually trade on the SAS platform. Happy trading.